Here's how you can take professional looking macro shots using any phone and in this case we're using the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G to capture some 200 megapixel professional macro shots. Let's go! Now you may be wondering why we're using an external macro lens. So the main reason for this is this is a 200 megapixel sensor and I want to get the maximum details with the maximum magnification using an external lens. So I would recommend your step one for this to be getting a macro lens so that you can get even closer than possible. And then if you want to crop, you can use the 200 megapixels to crop even more. If I don't use this lens and I still want a 200 megapixel shot, this is the closest I can get to the dragonfly without it going out of focus. So let's take this off, take a photo, and then put this on and take a photo. Look at that difference. Absolutely massive difference. Such a better compression, such better isolation, and the details look incredible. I know this is a macro photo video, but I'm gonna show you the video performance on the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G as well, because I can record 4K 30, and I wanna take a quick macro shot to show you the details you get off this butterfly. I forgot how hot it is in Malaysia. Five second break, that's one of the tips. Five, five second break. Tip number two is gonna be using the pro mode. I would say this is one of the most important steps because you get maximum control on whatever you're capturing. The main things you're gonna be looking out for is the focusing. I like switching to manual focus and locking it down so that all I need to do to get my subject sharp and in focus is moving my phone backwards and forward to get that focus. I feel like grasshoppers give like nice colors. The lesser you move, the easier this gets. This one here, look at his legs. Don't jump, listen, don't argue, don't even. Another great thing is that this comes with focus peaking, meaning I'm gonna get an outline around my subject when I'm taking a photo of it. Incredible for macro shots. Lastly, I like increasing my shutter speed so that I get to lock down my subject in motion. So if the butterfly is flying or doing something interesting, if I press the button, I get the motion exactly captured without any blur. Pro mode, definitely a big must. Tip number three, and this is pretty important to making your shots look professional, is try to match the eyeline of the insect or subject or go lower than it. This makes your subject look bigger than it is and gives it more of that weight and importance. Use that. Now just because it's a macro video, doesn't mean I'm gonna take only macro shots. So if you get the opportunity to take like landscape shots while you're taking macro shots, definitely take it because across from 0.6x all the way up to 4x, you're getting great zoom and great image performance at all focal lengths. Photos look pretty good. Now regardless of if I'm in the pro mode or the regular mode, the results I'm getting are really nice. The color tones are amazing, the contrast looks nice, and it's very natural looking, which is what I really like on these Redmi phones. There you have it. Follow these three tips to take some incredible macro shots. I'm really impressed with the camera on the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G and the 200 megapixel. Image processing is amazing and the usage overall has been super smooth to take these shots. Very happy with it. We'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care. Now we started off the shoot with 100% battery and after three hours of shooting, we're at 81%. So battery life-wise, pretty solid, right? Shee! Shee!